All right, this time we're going to back up our configuration files and we can actually sync it across you know, all our system using like a Dropbox or any other cloud syncing service that you want. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, the convenience of backing up your configuration files is uh, if you don't know your configuration files, it's in your home folder and we hit control H here using Nautilus. You have all these uh, dot files right like dot dot whatever um, those are actually your configuration files for that application so let's say for example if I'm using Nautilus here and I'd go into my preference and I change some settings around that I like like I want to display some stuff in or whatever right change one of these check boxes it's gonna be stored into that folder depending on what application it is they have a different folder for each right like let's say easy tag cuttlefish whatever they save their configurations and uh, your plugins and whatever it is in there. Um, so, like, if you're working on your desktop and your laptop, um, and you're editing like maybe your Bash RC file or whatever it is, it's gonna be sync and uh, you can use it, you know, on both system. Another good example of backing up your um, your configuration files is that let's say you install. You know, you do a fresh install, or maybe you install a different distro altogether. Doesn't matter because the application configurations is only associated to the application itself, not the distro. And uh, that's a convenience because when you install a fresh install, you know people install their applications again, but then they have to go inside different applications and reconfigure the way that they want it uh, all over again, and it takes a lot of time. So if you back up all your configuration files, um, just the application that you want to save, then it's, uh, it saves you a lot of time later on, okay? Uh, anyways, how would you do that in, in here using Dropbox? So this is our home folder, and this is my Dropbox folder here. So all I gotta do is create a, a, a new folder, right? I, I, just, I made a new one called dot .files here, and basically these are, um, was it all my configurations that I would want to save all right so all you gotta do in here uh, is go to your home folder pick out the ones that you want to save for example I have my easy tag here if I want to save that I just drop it in my Dropbox here right and now it's synced uh, you know towards their website and in here locally I can just delete this one now move to trash and we're gonna sim link it back to this, uh, what is it, my local home folder here? So, to sim link it back using Nautilus, um, all you gotta do is, what's the folder we just deleted? Uh, easy tag, right? There we go. Easy tag. So, all you gotta do is uh, highlight it and middle click, okay? Middle click and hold it and then drag it out here. Let it go. It says link here. And now you can see that it's a different icon. It has this little arrow or whatever. That means it's sim link. All right, so you can see that these uh, icons, it's just a regular folder. These one has a little arrow. That means that's a same link folder, okay? Now, you can do this in Nautilus real easy by just, you know, dragging and letting it go and you do link. But other file managers don't let you do that. So if your file manager doesn't let you do that, you can always use the command line. So only do this if you don't have Nautilus or Dolphin or whatever. Right, but we're gonna go into our Dropbox folder, which is in public Dropbox and my files here. So we're gonna go into my uh, Dropbox folder and dot files here, right? And let's say, for example, I want to give you another example here. Let's say we'll save this one to W3M folder in here and we'll delete this one into trash. So to same link it from the command line. Uh, if you have a uh, you know a file manager that doesn't support symlink uh, using the drag and drop method, uh, you can use the ln command. So we do ln dash s for symlink or symbolic link, and the file that we want. Now, when you do your files in here, you have to put the the, the full path. You can't just go uh, what do we got dot w3m. You can't just do that. You have to put the full path. So you can type out the whole thing if you want. Like let's say for example, what is that? Public, you know, Dropbox, uh, files, dot files. I mean, and uh, what is that? W3M. If you want to type out the whole thing, that's fine. 
otherwise we can just put um, what was that dollar sign PWD for current working directories it saves you a little time and then what you want to save this to uh, you can save it to your home folder dot w3m right and basically this will link it uh, this one they'll create one of these uh, sim link to our uh, folder over here which is w3m and when you click on it it just points it to this folder that we have on our system that's all it does for sim linking um, so that's how you would do that you know for all your was that your configurations that you saved on uh, Dropbox just seem link it back so you can use it on your regular system and you can do this across you know all your system like your laptop your desktop netbook whatever uh, saves a lot of time anyways uh, that's pretty much it if you want to back up and you know restore your configuration files instead of wasting your time uh, doing it manually all the time uh, so that's one way you can do it with Dropbox. There's other ways like using GitHub and all that, but it just takes a long time. I think Dropbox is uh, pretty convenient. Now, one thing with Dropbox that I'll have to uh, give you a little warning on is these motherfuckers don't encrypt their, uh, you know, their uh, files. So their employees can actually look at your files. So be aware of that. Uh, so don't store your password on their site unless your password is encrypted like uh, if you're using keep pass or something that's encrypted right if you want to sync your files like there's some some of them that i'll probably say avoid okay so in here you have let's say if you're using pigeon and pigeon creates a dot purple folder right a dot purple folder here right and in here uh your account uh dot xml it's actually in plain text, so it's not encrypted. You can actually look at it. It's like Notepad, so that's kind of stupid. So I don't say you know I put I wouldn't recommend you uh, sync your you know your pigeon file on uh, Dropbox, okay? Because it's in plain text. It, you know you can just open it with uh, Leafpad or Gedit or whatever it is, and you can look at someone's password. So some of those you know you gotta be aware of. Don't sync your uh, browser history. Don't sync your pigeon folder and any other ones that relates to password unless your password is encrypted by itself, okay? Uh, that's the only thing I have to warn you on. Anyways, that's how you would back up uh, your configuration files using Simlink and Dropbox.